so it might be a bit violent for others but this is very important and this might be the best video that you will watch today especially if you're an adult anyway i'm going to show a clip from episode 13 from k-drama today's webtoon and here's the clip from episode 14 see the difference between the two clips um in the first clip we see how um, it traumatized him, how he remembered that traumatized, that horrific experience he had when he was young. And for the next episode, um, it's shown what really happened. Apparently, he caused fire when he was young. So her mother, her single mother who also worked, I have no choice but to like cage her in their house. Kasi masyado siyang makulat is very um, both serious, I guess. But see the effect the impact of that experience to the kid basically i just want to point out how childhood trauma really affects someone and how it might really like alter it like oftentimes adults think that children will not remember what what they did to them but nope it's strong because chances is they will remember it whether it's consciously or unconsciously and the problem with that is that sometimes it may alter it may be more grandiose like in the clip you see how what really happened but the way he remember it it's just different a lot of adults older people tend to do things to the kids because they think they will not remember it but in fact they will remember it um here in this key drama he grew up with this anxiety of socializing with other people he is afraid that older women touches him he basically um it basically affects his life growing up and even though her mother has a like a re valid reason for this um it's still not enough and like it's not valid to use it as an excuse because what she did is still horrifying and it just show how tricky our brain is the impact of it depends on how they perceive that experience, how traumatized they are from that experience to those two bad things. So I think as an adult, we should be think carefully to whatever things we do to kids.